Got some packing done. Are you guys excited to go to your daycare? What you think, Bobby? Oakley's like, I'm going wherever Bubba goes. My hair is a mess. Don't mind my hair, but yeah, currently packing right now for Vegas. About to cook up some food, show you guys the process of like how I'm gonna be preparing my, you know, food sources for this trip. I'm gonna make some chicken and beef. So I'm gonna show you guys a little process on like how I do it. As far as packing, I got about 80% done. I typically like to pack a ton of underwear, just workout clothes, clothes to sleep in, and then, you know, obviously the competition shorts. I have a ton of like just dark sports stuff just to, you know, represent the team. And also I pack like two or three outfits that I could wear for like dinner and stuff just to have. And then as far as sneakers, I'll probably bring like two pairs of sneakers. But that's just kind of giving you guys a little recap on like how I pack for uh, when I do competitions and stuff. But right now I'm about to cook some food. So I'll show you guys the process of that. All right, we're gonna make some chicken. Yeah, so pretty much I wash the chicken, you know, really well. And then I kind of just put it inside this little this aluminum tray and I, I kind of broil the chicken and it cooks really, really well when I do it that way. That's pretty much theirs to it. I keep it very simple. I had the oven at boil high. Now I'm just gonna put this tray right into the oven. And it's gonna cook for probably like a good hour. The chicken will be nice and soft and it's super tasty. Shit. There we go. So got the chicken in the oven. Now I'm ready some beef. Ground beef. Add a little bit of water. Helps it cook it a lot better. So pour about like a little bit. Add Chicken's finished, nice and crispy. Beef is made. This should last me a good three days, and then whatever else that I need to make, I'll probably just cook in Vegas, and then I'm gonna have a nice batch of rice that I'll be taking along with me. So right now I'm just kind of like cutting up the chicken so then I can kind of just pack it up. Most likely we'll pop this in the freezer so they can make it freeze overnight, and then during my flight to Vegas, it should be kind of like defrosting on the way there, and um, it'll be ready to eat once I get to Vegas, and then I obviously have so chicken and beef that I already have in the fridge that I've made for, you know, obviously these for like today and um, tomorrow. So I'll pack some meals that I'll take with me on my actual um, carry-on bag. But uh, yeah, the chicken is nice and soft. This is good. So I sliced up the chicken, beef is made, rice is cooked. Now it's time to just package it all. Just finished up with cooking. Got some chicken made, which I'm gonna throw in the freezer. Got my beef, which I'm gonna throw in the freezer. And then I have rice, which I'm just gonna throw in the fridge. And then um, I'll show you guys how I'm gonna pack it in my suitcase when I actually leave for Vegas. 
But yeah, that's kind of just like a little tutorial on how I pack. It's very simple. I get it done in under two hours. Kind of try to nail it all out at once. So cook the chicken, cook the beef, cook the rice, pack it up and you know, all I have to do is the dishes and then I'll be on my way. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Very simple, effective way to pack. I'll show you guys how I do it. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna finish up packing for today. I do plan on training a bit of arms, so maybe I'll show you guys a quick little workout. Last workout here in South Florida, so let's finish strong. Um, let's see how this pump is gonna be, and uh, maybe I'll show you guys what I'll eat before my workout. Extremely stoked, just got this nice care package from uh, Dark Sport. This is actually a custom order that I made myself, and they shipped good few items that I personally chose so kind of give you guys a little glimpse of like what I got I got a nice mat that I could bring to Vegas some shorts oh, dude, up. and uh, yeah some shirts tank tops shorts Dark Sport has been coming out some really quality stuff if you guys are interested in picking up any items Go on shop.darksport.com, use code STEVEN10 at checkout, save some money. Items are very limited though, a lot of stuff does sell out unfortunately just because collections are very limited. So check the website, pick up on some items that you might like and um, yeah for sizing, I wear size large for tops, mediums for shorts, large for joggers. For hoodies and sweaters, I wear size extra large and yeah quality stuff. Shout out to Dark Sport for the nice little package. He's like, man, I didn't get anything. What the heck, dude? You're always getting all the packages. Right, Oakley? <laughs> As you can see, I got a nice little haircut. And now I'm making my pre-training meal. Thank God to get a little bit of carbs. I just have a little bit of cream of rice, a scoop and a half of the Gorilla Mine protein, and then 60 grams of almond butter. You know, if you guys have followed me over the years, this is definitely one of my favorite meals to eat before my workout just because I digest it really well and I feel like it's very tasty. It's kind of like a mini little dessert, look like a little treat before your workout. And then, uh, yeah, it's very tasty. So I'm gonna eat this pre-meal and then head to the gym, crush some arms, finish up packing, and then tomorrow, hope you're on our way to Vegas. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Heading to the gym, gonna do some arms, try to get a really good pump. I feel the carbs already kind of shuttling, so I'm very carb sensitive right now. And now it's just like not that much carbs as it is. But I'm gonna probably do biceps to start out and then uh, throw in some triceps and then eventually just do like supersets. The goal is to train for like 30, 40 minutes, just getting a lot of blood into the arms and then call the workout. and then. Yeah, show you guys the process. All right, last workout here in South Florida. I'm gonna crush up some arms. I'm gonna start with some preacher curls, get a lot of blood into the biceps. And again, I'm not training to failure at all. I don't wanna, you know, cause any inflammation. It's more so just getting a pump and then pulling the workout. So very excited to get this last workout here and make it strong.
flat right now. Like, I just feel like I'm just, just feeling the pump when I'm doing this set, but then once I'm done, like, I just feel so flat. But really happy with where I'm at. I can't wait to load up on carbs. I feel like once I fill out, like, I'll look even tighter. But arm pump is pretty good. I'm about to head to Vegas. I have my frozen, let me show you guys how I have this set up. So I just have rice. And here is the chicken and beef that I cooked yesterday. It's frozen, so see. So it's frozen, so pretty much obviously I travel a decent amount and over the years I invested into some like bags and stuff. So this should kind of keep it cool, but regardless it's gonna defrost anyways and then I just close it like this. And then just throw it right pretty much at the back. I pack all my supplements in here too. But I'll tell them to do the combination of both bags because I got two check bags. Probably gonna head out to the airport in the next 20 minutes. And uh, I'll see you guys in Vegas.